Hey folks, um, I've been getting some comments on the old review uh, that I did on the Thunderfoot Ray Comfort debate after all this time, and they're trying to argue my point that Christians hate complicated, they like simple. They tried pointing out some rather famous theologians, a few of which I had actually read. I responded with, compared to actual science, philosophy, and neurology, they're trivial and simple. Mind you, for their time, a few of them were using the best resources they had, but many, instead of using evidence, would spend their brain power trying to start with an assumption, aka the Bible is true, and then try to twist the logic of reality around it. Scientists have to do complex experiments, then sift through mounds of data, then repeat. Well, someone else claimed that I hadn't been taught the right orthodoxy and epistemology, to which I kind of went back and forth with about, um, suddenly dawned on me that I had been just like this. I liked complicated, and I thought theologians really did like complicated at one point, and that love of learning is what kick-started my search for truth and complex thinking. It was not until I went into academia that I realized just how oversimplified these theologians' arguments actually were. It was overwhelming and confusing to the point of a mental block. Scientists especially have to run countless tedious experiments and sift through countless levels of data with double-blinded tests and controls to help prevent confirmation bias. Then they have to pay money to attempt to publish their papers. The peer review will then go on to destroy their idea if there is any potential flaw or untestable or untested claim in their paper. And then and only then will it be published. All scientists have to be agnostic about everything they know about life and only use data and evidence found either by themselves or their predecessors. Only after this process may they publish books to explain their ideas to laypersons in a watered-down and much more exciting version or report their findings to the news which will further filter the types of experiments and dreary tests used. Theologians are Gnostic about their beliefs, and can make up and print anything with no peer review at all, even if it's as complicated as astrology, I Ching, or any other form of divination or occult. They all require no peer review, no evidence, and no control studies to ensure that what they are saying is 100% factual. All a theologian has to do to print their opinion is to fork over the cash, which is usually um, by their congregation. I was, however, reminded in this discussion that the average layman has never seen an actual scientific paper to understand just how complicated one is. In the link in the sidebar, I'm posting a website called the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, which unlike most journals that make you pay a fairly nice fee to read their articles, this site allows free reading after it has been up for six months. Go on that site and I think you'll be surprised just how much more complicated science is than what is filtered to us by books and media. This site is called pnas.org. Check it out.